turned to some stunning visuals showing the importance of wearing that mask to help slow the spread of coronavirus and showing that the type of mask you choose can make a big difference. Eva Pilgrim joins us now. Eva, I think I've been making the wrong choice on the face covering. Good morning to you. Uh, oh, goodness, mm -hmm. TJ. Well, we all know that wearing a mask helps reduce the spread of the virus, but there are so many different kinds of masks. This morning, some answers about what are your best options. With COVID cases climbing, mandatory mask orders are growing, but now new research concluding not all face masks are created equal. We were basically looking at two main characteristics for the masks. Um, the first was the type of fabric that we used, and the second was the construction of the mask. Researchers at Florida Atlantic University put several different masks to the test. They looked at a bandana style covering, a loosely folded cotton handkerchief mask, a homemade two layered quilted cotton mask, and an over the counter cone style mask. They used a laser to detect droplets as they were coughed or sneezed out of a mannequin. This video showing how far those droplets traveled with no covering. The green going about eight feet. The single layer bandana better than nothing, but showing the droplets still traveled pretty far, more than three and a half feet. Even the bandana fabric will be able to stop the largest droplet sizes. So if you use a better fabric, it will be more effective. The loosely folded mask performed better, but the droplets still traveled more than a foot. The best performers, the over-the-counter mask, shielding the droplets up to eight inches of spray. And taking the top spot, the homemade two-layered quilted cotton mask, droplets only traveling two and a half inches. Masks are not 100% effective. There's always some leakage from the sides. That's why it's important to use a combination of face masks and social distancing. So there are two things you want to think about when you think of masks. One, the fit. You want to make sure it fits snug around this part of your face. And two, the fabric. I know this is not what you want to hear, TJ, but the thicker the fabric, the better. If you can see the sun coming through your mask, that means droplets can get out as well. TJ. All right. No, I'm always listening to you, Eva. Thank you so much. I'm also always listening to our ABC News chief medical correspondent, Dr. Uh, Jennifer Ashton. Uh, Dr. Ashton, a lot of information there a remarkable to see it all play out like that so what is your big takeaway exactly what Eva said DJ um, listen this is a really interesting field called aerosol science it's about the physics and chemistry of how particles move in different environments that was incredibly interesting but remember that was simulated when you're out in the real world you have to take into account wind temperature humidity movement all of those variables and PhDs spend their lifetime working on this but as Eva said they're not all created equal. It's about fit and fabric. But to be clear, we are at a stage right now where anything is better than nothing. Okay, and Dr. Ashton, I'm one of the bandana guys. Um, we saw in the experiment there, they <laughs> performed worse than all of them, gave you some protection. So do I need to, do we need to ditch the bandanas? Well, listen, that's not a CDC recommendation yet, but my son is right there with you with his bandana. Looks great. It's better than nothing. We need to take baby steps with this. We're in uncharted territory. We're not used to this. Um, and remember, the CDC at one point even recommended that healthcare workers could use a bandana if they didn't have PPE. So your choice, but remember, any covering is better than nothing. Okay, Dr. Ashton, and you're right. They look great. It's, it's a style decision. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.